So my name is Mauricio. I'm the CEO and founder of Unismart, a startup that is revolutionizing the way people experience coffee. So as I said, I'm from Brazil and I went to the United States for my master's. I've lived there for more than two years and right in the beginning, I was really, really shocked by the way Americans drink coffee. In fact, when you get there and you see all those people always walking with their huge cups of American coffee always in their hands, that was something really different for me. Then I started digging deeper into that behavior and I found out this. There are more than 35 million people who drink coffee on the go every single day. A big part of them are millennials, and this is just in the US. But the weird part is, Americans, they are always in a rush, right? They are always trying to save time. But they are spending over 120 hours per year just waiting in lines. Also, they are always trying to save the scent. But they're spending almost $2,000 per year just going out to grab coffee. That is 7% millennials average income. And what about sustainability? It's a buzzword, right? So everyone wants to be sustainable. But how can you be sustainable if you're throwing away more than 13 billion K-cups and more than 50 billion disposable cups every single year? And all of that is just because you want to have your fresh coffee on the go, right? But what if you could not only save time, money, and reduce your impact, but also have your fresh coffee the way you want, right at the time of your need? I'm really happy to introduce you, Huna. So our solution is a combination of a smart and portable coffee maker with high quality and eco-friendly coffee pods. Huna is powered by rechargeable batteries and it is everything you need to brew, carry and drink your coffee. And to use it, very simple. You just have to add any temperature water, insert one of our compostable pots, hit the button, either in the coffee maker or in the mobile app, and that's it. Just wait for a few minutes. And did I say app? Yes. And here's where the whole experience gets enhanced. From now on, you will be able to customize the flavor of your coffee according to your preferences in the palm of your hand. You will be able to track your consumption, track your caffeine intake. You can even track from where your coffee is coming from. Yuna will manage and recommend pods for you so you can reorder them and receive them at your house with a click. Also, you can set up alarmers to have your coffee fresh, uh, ready and fresh whenever you want. So for me, personally, it means that I can sleep 10 minutes more in the morning, and then when I wake up, my coffee will be there waiting for me. Cool, right? So we are targeting uh, 35 million people, and they represent a $16 billion market, and this is just in the US. Our initial target profile are daily coffee drinkers, millennials, people who have this busy and on-the-go lifestyle, and therefore they live in big cities, and those people, they have an environmental impact mindset. We have talked and interviewed almost 1,000 people. 686 fit this profile. 488 said that they would buy our product. That is over 70% of the people. So why we are better, right? We are better because we have a patent pending on our brewing mechanism that allow us to be way much more portable, to brew coffee on the go, and tailor to your preferences. In other words, you can be your own barista everywhere. And we are a B2C company based on a razors and blades model. And for $99, you can buy one Yuna coffee maker that comes with the app. And you can buy one of our compostable pods for 50 cents each. So our customer lifetime value is 460, while our costs is 200, including manufacturing, distribution, warranty, and marketing. And this is the team behind our business model. So I'm Mauricio, I'm the CEO, I have the right balance between management and technical skills. As an engineer, I work with product development for multinational companies such as Bosch. And as I have my master's in business and management and I work with Innovation, the largest consultancy company in Brazil. Lara, she's our industrial designer with more than eight years of experience and five awarded products. Marcelo and Guilherme are our tech technical developers and both play key roles in multinational companies such as Bosch and Siemens. And Aline, she's our head of supply chain in manufacturing and she also has experience with in companies such as coca-cola in another hardware startup and we are not alone in this one we are very very well supported by experts in innovation business industry business strategy sorry and the coffee industry from the u.s europe and brazil and this crazy guy believe it or not is our cto marcelo again and he's one of the big big brains behind all our 
technical achievements so far. So we have run rounds of prototyping in order to validate a lot of th stuff and also learn a lot from it. So we validated that we can brew coffee using batteries in a portable way. We went through several different designs. We did the app mock-up. We developed all the electronics and therefore we can control Yuna through the app. And finally, we combined all those learnings into a new prototype that you guys can check at our booth. And we are ready. We are ready to go. So we are working with two prototy uh, prototyping companies in order to launch our beta. There are two manufacturers from the US willing to produce Yuna. There is a company working on our IP and we will be incubated in upstate New York. Also, there are more people who believe in us. In fact, we earned seven international awards, and one of them uh, was funded by the National Science Foundation. That means investment for no equity. So as, as our path forward, we are asking for $400,000 in order to launch two phases of our plan. The first one is a beta test. We're going to be producing 20 to 50 units uh, as a pre-sales units, and then we're going to go for a large commercial test of 1,000 units. And for that, we need $400,000. In sum, we are targeting a huge market. We have a really strong team, and we are offering a unique solution. So join us into this new coffee revolution. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mauricio. So, as you know, you're a little bit too many for a Q&A here. So, what we do, we get these fake questions for you, okay? But, the good thing to know is that we pull them through the typical questions that are asked to our team. So, it's not so fake, after all. Okay, so, two questions for you, Mauricio. Um, the first one, well, of course, you're not the only one to produce a portable brewing coffee machine out there. There are several out there. So what really makes it different in your case? Right. So there's a lot of portable coffee makers out there. And the main difference is that most of them, they require hot water to work, right? So I don't see people walking around with their water boilers all around. But the thing is, we are more portable. Our machine heats up the water, brews your coffee, and sorry to say that here, but we are not brewing espressos. We are brewing 200 milliliters of American coffee. And talking about our direct competitors from the US market, I can highlight three main things that why we are better, besides the fact that we are way, way much more portable, is we have connectivity with smartphones, we can customize the coffee, and since we are talking about millennials, uh, our composable files, they are really aligned with their values. Great. And another question that comes quite sometimes over is, okay, but you have the shape of a typical team that should go crowdfunding. I know you have a different idea, right? Yeah, I, I've, learned, I've answered this one three times today. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, uh, for us, our marketing campaign will be launched launch for marketing purposes, not only to raise fund. So we've learned from our competitors that we need to launch our campaign closer to the delivery of the products. Uh, our competitors, they took too long to deliver the products, some never did, and that makes the early adopters and the back, backers really upset. So one. The thing is, we need the product first, and that's why we need investors. But one good thing that came out from those Kickstarter campaigns is that our competitors, they validate the market. So there is more than 4,000 backers out there willing to have coffee lovers, I would say, uh, to have a product just like ours. We just have to fulfill their needs. Thank you, Mauricio. <laughs> Thank you. And congratulations <laughs> for making it through. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much, guys.